In this video, I'm gonna create an AI caller and add it directly to my HubSpot CRM. Right here is a quick clip on exactly how good the AI caller is, and I'm gonna build this out in the video. The reason for the call today is to follow up regarding the form you filled out about implementing solar into your property. Is now a good time to chat? Yeah, now it's fine, I guess. Great. So what got you interested in solar energy? Are you looking to save on energy costs, or is it more about reducing your carbon footprint? Honestly, my energy bill right now is like $250 and I just want to reduce that. So if you haven't seen already, AI calling technology is taking over and when we implement this into our CRM, this could be an extremely powerful automation that we let run on autopilot inside of our business. So if you stay to the end of this video, you are going to learn how to build an AI caller with simple prompting in order to get it to function how you want it to function, set up the voice so that way it sounds like a real human, and then integrate this into our HubSpot CRM and have this thing call leads for us. Not only is it gonna call leads for us, but it's gonna add a summary of how the call went to the contact ID. So that way our sales reps or we could see all these different qualified leads and all the information I was talking about on these AI calls. If you stay to the end of this video, I can guarantee you that this is going to blow your mind and that this technology is going to completely change the way you and your business handle sales. But with that being said, let's dive right into this video so you can build this out yourself. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna come into our Synflow account. I'm going to actually go ahead and come up to the assistance. I'm gonna click Create Assistant. And from here, we're, we are going to use, actually build from scratch. And this is gonna be an outbound assistant for this use case. So let's click Outbound. From here, let's give this a name. I'm gonna call this Solar X Assistant because this is gonna be for a solar company to call our leads that actually opted into our Facebook forms. So um, let's go ahead and play around with the voice. First of all, we wanna add a custom greeting here for what we wanted to see. All right, so here's a custom greeting. Hey there, first name, this is Rebecca with SolarX. Do you have two minutes to chat? Hey there, first name. This is Rebecca with SolarX. Do you have two minutes to chat? I really like the sound of that one. So let's go with that one. Come over to our prompt. This is where we are going to instruct how we want our AI assistant to act. So now we are in the prompting tab here of our AI voice assistant. And this is a really important step because this is exact, this is basically the training wheels in the brain behind our AI assistant. So right here, we need to get very specific with how we want this thing to act. Otherwise, our AI voice assistant is not gonna perform in the way we want it to. So we need to get creative. Let's go ahead and ask this co-pilot here. This is actually our AI assistant that will help us write our prompt. Hopefully this will do a good job of structuring in a way for us to you know, deploy this thing and have it run on autopilot. Let's write out what we are trying to build. All right, so here's a prompt. I said, I want you to build an AI voice assistant with the name Rebecca. She works for SolarX and her job is to call leads. I just opted into a form on a Facebook ad. I want her to ask a few questions in order to get a sense of what they're looking for. So it is asking for more information. So what are the details about the company Solar X? What is the target audience? What's the value proposition and agent information? So let me go ahead and answer some of these so we can give it a better understanding. All right. So here I basically said Solar X provides solar solutions to people in the Bay Area. We offer the cheapest installation prices on the market and her job is to see if the user is qualified. Let's send that and so that way it could kind of build this prompt for us. All right. So it actually gave us the prompt. Let's go ahead and move forward with this. That looks good. Simple enough for this simple use case. So let's just say move forward. Okay insert the prompt. There we go. We now have a prompt set up for our AI voice assistant. That looks great. Now let's move on to the knowledge base. So our AI assistant could have some information on the company and that way it could help the users as good as possible. In order to add our knowledge base here to give information on this company for the AI assistant to access, we need to go over to knowledge base here and actually create a new knowledge base. Let's call this solar X. All right, so this is triggered when the user asks info about the company. So let's go ahead and create this. All right, let's add some text. We're gonna call this company overview. So I actually went ahead and here is a full kind of document on the background of the company. So you could see that this talks about the mission and their vision, the products that they offer, um, competitive advantages, market position, target, target customer segments, key selling points, installa installation and maintenance process. So this is just a basic high level overview of SolarX, the company that we are actually using. So, all right, that looks great. Let's go back over to our assistant. We want to then come back to our prompt and then we want to add knowledge and we're just gonna click Solar X here. 
save that information. And so now this is a knowledge base and this is the brain of our AI. So we could access this through when this thing is speaking with somebody, it could pull that information and immediately kind of answer with that information inside of our knowledge base. So this is where things get really cool and really dynamic with our AI callers. This is something that's very awesome with inside of Synflow. We're able to actually create custom actions inside of our call. So what we could do is we could actually send an SMS text message, create real-time booking, call transfer to a human. Um, but what we want to focus on right here is the information extractor. So I want to be able to extract certain information on the call in order to add this to HubSpot. So that way we could see and filter through our leads that are either interested or they have a certain budget or basically that way our sales reps can have an understanding of who this person is and it extracts this information automatically using our AI agent. So, all right, so what we want to do is we want to actually add these actions now. So I'm going to come down to new action. Let's go ahead. I already have some of these created, but let's add an open question here and identifier. And then this is what is the reason the user? All right. So what we're trying to extract is what is the reason the user wants to implement solar into their home? So let's just say, all right. So here are some output examples right here. You can see this is all set up. So then let's and then we want to actually make a couple more here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we added a couple information extractor actions, which you can see here, I added another one for what is a rough estimate of their budget. We want to come back to our assistance and here is where we could actually set up this function. So let's go ahead and add the information extractor. You could see this preset thing that I already made. So here's the solar budget and then reason for those are the two information extractor actions that we're going to utilize during our phone call. All right. So next we actually want to come to our deployment tab and test out how this phone caller actually works. So let's go ahead click our phone number that we connected here. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to test out a phone call. Let's go ahead and add some information here. Phone number. Let's just say the name is Brock and then I should be receiving a phone call and let's see how this sounds. Hey there, Brock. This is Rebecca with SolarX. Do you have two minutes to chat? Yeah, I guess that sounds fine. Great. I see you recently showed interest in our solar solution. Can you tell me a bit about your current energy usage? Yeah, right now I'm spending about $200 a month. Got it. Are you the homeowner or do you have the authority to make decisions regarding home improvement? Yeah, I'm the homeowner. Perfect. At SolarX, we offer the most affordable installation prices on the market. Do you have any specific concerns or questions about switching to solar? Uh, no, not really. Awesome. Based on what you've shared, it sounds like you might be a great fit for our solution. To proceed, could I arrange for one of our solar experts to give you a detailed consultation? No, thank you. All right, so that sounded great. However, it didn't go through our information extractor actions, so I need to actually configure that and make sure that is working. But as you can see here, we can see the call transcript. We could actually have a recording here, and then you could see um, that the actions were triggered, but they weren't the correct actions. All right, so the reason there was an issue with that and it didn't actually ask those questions and you know use the information extractor correctly is because i needed to change something in our prompt so here are questions to understand the user's needs um i added those two questions so what is the reason for thinking about implementing solar and then what is our current budget for a project like this so now the information extractor actions will be triggered now we want to actually add another action here so we want to add a real-time booking so if all this sounds great then we could have them book a call with somebody to come to their house. So let's go ahead and add that function to the end of our phone call. So I actually have this already set up. So let me click this, go ahead, click save. And so now we are able to actually, let's go back into our assistant, make sure this is all set up, add. All right, let's add that there. So now that real time booking action is added. So this will essentially look at the calendar information from our cal.com, make sure we have available time slot and then go ahead and book that directly to our calendar if they are qualified and if they want to book a in-person demo. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is we, since we have our assistant set up um, to make calls, we now want to integrate it into our HubSpot account. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So what we wanna do is we wanna come over to the left-hand side here. We want to come down to data management, come to integrations. And then what we want to do is we want to search for an app. So let's look up Synflow. Looks like we do not have it, so we need to go and download it. So look up Synthflow and our HubSpot app marketplace here. Click on this, click this orange install app button, and then it'll send us over to Synthflow and just click install app. But it takes us to Synthflow and we want to click connect our HubSpot. So let's click connect. 
Make sure to add our account. So this is our HubSpot account and just make sure to authorize all of this. Make, to, make sure to agree and connect. All right, so now we should have this installed. Let's refresh our HubSpot. So we come back to our integrations. We now have this Synflow AI calling app set up. Click blank workflow and click con contact base. We don't need to set up this trigger just yet. We just need to add the actions following the trigger. So come down to the bottom left-hand side, Synflow AI calling and click make AI phone call. So now we need to map these fields. So we need to come over to our Synflow agent here and copy and paste the model ID. You can find that right here. And then we want to copy and paste our API key as well. Add that there, select phone number. Um, what we want to do is we want to look up phone number, map that property there. And then let's use first name. There we go. And then let's do contact record. All right, let's see. Let's do record ID. Map that and let's save this for now. That should be all good to go. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add personalization to our phone calls through HubSpot. So what we want to do is we want to go back to our assistant inside of Synflow, come to our prompt and we want to actually copy and paste this prompt and then delete it. So we do not want anything inside of our prompt. What we want to do is we want to come back to our HubSpot workflow here and then come to AI prompt and copy and paste our prompt here. And one thing we want to focus on is we want to be able to greet the user by the first and last name. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. Here's how we want to start the phone call. Greet and identify the purpose of the phone call. Confirm the person is the right person, the right contact. And so we need to map this field here. So what we want to do is we want to search for prop or contact properties, look up first name and then add a space and then add last name here. So essentially what this does is this pulls information from HubSpot, which is their first and last name, and then uses that inside of the phone call. So that way we can personalize the phone call, say, hey, is this John Smith with, you know, whatever company. So that should now be set up. So now that we set up the AI prompt inside of our HubSpot workflow, we want to then go ahead and click enroll and choose an individual contact to test to see if this is working. So we should now be receiving a personalized phone call that greets us by our first and last name. And let's just wait for this to come in. All right, so here's the phone call. Let me answer this. Hi, I saw that you were interested in exploring solar solutions. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Great. Can I confirm that I'm speaking with Brock Metherick? Yep, I am him. Awesome, Brock. What's the main reason you're considering going solar? Uh, I just want to save money, honestly. Got it. Saving money is a big plus. What's your current budget for a project like this? Uh, right now, I have about $10,000 to spend. I wanted to see if you guys have financing options. $10,000 is a solid start. And yes, we do offer financing options to make it even more affordable. Would you like me to arrange for one of our solar experts to give you a detailed consultation? No, thank you. That's all. Okay, so we wanted to test that that works and that does work. It greeted me by my first and last name. We could get really specific with this and use different custom fields inside of here to greet them by their company name or different things. But now this is set up inside of our HubSpot. Now that we have our AI caller integrated seamlessly into our HubSpot account, what we want to do now is we want to add a trigger. So you could make this trigger whatever you want, or if you don't want a trigger and you just want to be able to upload a list and have our AI call a bunch of different people, we could just click from list here for enrollment, and then we can choose our list um, that we create. So that is one option and we could use that. But for this use case, we want it to be when a new contact is added to our HubSpot CRM, then we automatically call them while the lead is still warm. So what we want to do is we want to come up to come to set up triggers and let's use AI to generate this. And let's just say when a new contact is added, generate trigger, and it should create this workflow for us. Here we go. So this is now all created. So now, whenever a new, so now whenever a new contact is added, it will then be enrolled into this workflow, which will immediately make the AI phone call. So one more thing I want to look at is if we come back to our contacts and we view this here, if we click on our contact, we could actually see in the activities tab here, all of the phone calls that happen and we could see the transcript um, along with our transcript or along with the full audio of our phone call. So if we're using this for our sales reps or um, us as a business owner, we could then see all the calls that our AI caller makes. And so we have context to what they spoke about, if they're qualified, all this stuff. And this all 
is done with Synflow and HubSpot. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this is extremely useful for you.